Good evening, and everyone, and welcome to What's New. Tonight, our guests are the Women's Club, and we're going to let them talk about the organization itself and a little bit about, you know, how you can join. And if anybody's got any questions, um, we have the phone. You can call in. <laughs> yeah, and be sure and to call in because we like outside mm -hmm. questions from our listeners, too. And what phone number do they call? He puts it up on the screen. Cool. It's uh, 2883... Seven six seven five seventy five seven six right. seven five. So be sure to call yeah. in anybody who's listening and ask yeah. questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and introduce yourself as you start That's talking. What I was say, would you like for us to introduce yes. ourselves? Yes, first? introduce yes. yourself. Well, no, as you start talking, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, my name is Diane Miller, and I am the current president of the JFWC Women's Club of Saint Javiv, and we meet once a month on the third Monday of the month normally. We do not meet in June, July, and August, so if you're interested in being a member but you're afraid of your summer plans, not to worry. We don't meet during the summer. You are welcome to join us. So we have a club of about 55 ladies this year, and some of them do come to meetings. Some of them are a little leery yet with COVID, and that's perfectly fine. People come when they can come. They stay at home when they feel more comfortable doing that. Mm -hmm. so. Good idea. I'm Rosemary Douglas. I'm the president-elect of the club. And although we have some members that can't attend because of COVID, the, we um, keep them involved and engaged because we have our Facebook page and we have a club website so that they can check on the website what's going on. And we communicate with a lot of emails. And for the members that don't have any kind of technology, we do a lot of personal phone calls to keep in touch. Mm -hmm. And That's nice. yeah, this yeah. past mm -hmm. week, <laughs> this past um, month for the meeting, we sent anybody who didn't attend the meeting a card to tell them we missed them. So mm -hmm. we do reach out to them when we don't see them, just to make sure they're okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell them our website? Our website is www.gf. W C M O S T E G E N dot org. Great. Right. And the email is the same thing. You didn't say who you were, madam. I'm Rosemary Douglas. Thank you, Iris. <laughs> I'm Catherine Wolf, and I am the current vice president. And um, we, well, we are a club of women that's based on volunteer services, and we do a lot of volunteer services throughout the year. Even when we're not having meetings, we're, we're still working to, you know, to get the next year's meetings together. And we, do, we do a lot of stuff within the community, and I think it's really fun, but I really enjoy going to the meetings. And so what kind of service projects are is that on your agenda to talk about? Um, I think we have well, a we did seven. a lot of things despite mm -hmm. COVID. Yeah. Like our one meeting was canceled that we always did a huge auction for Girls Town and got a lot of stuff for them for Christmas. So since we could not meet, we had a drive through and we used the parking lot at the water park and everyone dropped off all their stuff. And then we got it all up to Girls Town for them. Mm -hmm. And then for Ronald McDonald House, we were going to do a collection for them in December, doing <coughs> snacks for the family. So mm -hmm. when they're there, Again, we got canceled, so we put like big totes out on strategically placed members' front porches throughout the community, and everybody just brought their stuff, dropped it in the totes, and kept going so that nothing was contact. And, oh, that's you know, we've done a lot of different things like that. We did combs mm -hmm. and brushes for Perryville for the crisis center. So despite the fact that we have not always been able to meet, we still are doing a lot well, for the community and beyond. That's great. Which we're really proud of. <laughs> yes, yes, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Laura, do you want Well, I'm Laura Riley, and I'm the corresponding secretary, and I'm super excited to be getting better and better at my letter writing because that's <laughs> it is, it is lost, lost art. So every card gets a little bit better, mm -hmm. and I'm also very pleased to be. It skipped a generation, but my grandmother was in the women's mm -hmm. club. So I'm excited to be carrying that on in my family. Yes. So it's a it can be a generational thing. Oh okay. sure, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm I'm Judy Gustafson, and I am a member of the club, 
and um, I am currently the uh, state president, GFWC of Missouri state president. And I want to say uh, I joined the club almost 14 years ago. And um, it's just an extraordinary club. Um, and we've had so many good leaders since 1949 that started our club and, and brought it to what it is today. And Marianne Otto is one of them. And um, we know that she was part of your group, and um, we miss her very much. And she was, uh, she was a she was a real jewel, and we must say that we appreciated her so much. And Helen Smith was our first president, right? And um, we still have a scholarship fund in her name that every year we give out two five hundred dollars scholarships um, because of Helen Smith and her husband. You know, donated awesome. funds for that. So, um, and then again, we also give out two other scholarships that we have a, a nice scholarship fund that we've raised money over the years and through a lot of effort in selling our uh, recipe cookbooks. Um, and so we give out two $1,000 scholarships, one to each high school, uh, a young lady from one of each high school here, the Valley High School and the public high school. Um, and I wanna say um, we had a youth writing contest this year and um, let me get my paper up here. Um, we've done it for many years now, and it's for high school students. And this year, uh, we had a um, subject for them to write about, and it's what will they take away from 2020, oh. you know, with all the challenges mm -hmm. and everything. And um, the students from either high school, from both high schools, they could write a poem or they could write a short story. And so we had over 30 entries. Well, that's and, great. Um, we had 10 entries that were sent to uh, GFWC of Missouri for judging at the state level. And I'm gonna read their names, announce them now, yeah. and so the, the public will know that they have won at the local level, because these students haven't been notified yet. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, so, they have not. They're announcing it live. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, we're so it's live. Now, mom and dads yeah. and grandma and grandpas. <laughs> um, in poetry, and this is from St. Genevieve High School, uh, Elizabeth Hess. Um, Ashlyn Wolk, Jacob Bergen, Virginia Atkins, and Brett St. Clair. For a short story, we had Reese Sartori, Aurelia Taylor, no, ba Madison Vaith, Haley Weibrecht, who's from Valley High School, and Lily Boyd. So um, all of these were sent uh, to the state level for judging and so we will find out at our state convention in Jefferson City uh, which of our students, and hopefully there's a first, second, third in each category. And always our students have done very well. And we're really proud of yeah, them all their past uh, mm -hmm. winning on this. So we have our fingers crossed that we will do the same again this year because they're competing throughout the state oh, yeah. from other high schools. Well, that's we have great. categories that start with elementary kids and go all the way up through high school. Now, we have chosen just to do high school kids, but, you know, maybe next year we'll also do some uh, mm -hmm. elementary or middle school kids. So, kids, be watching. You might want to write a, a short story or a poem. And so we will um, find out at the state meeting who, who wins, and then in our May meeting, we'll invite the winners and all of our local winners and then the state winners to our May meeting. I think it's at the VFW yeah. this time. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, along with the scholarship uh, winners. Yeah, along with all program, the other and students. Oh, and okay. this, that's the day that we honor students. We showcase everything that they have accomplished mm -hmm. over the years and um, over, throughout the year. And um, we're really proud of our kids here oh, in yeah. St. Genevieve. They, they just really do great things. So they do. Very proud of that. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So that's, awesome. that's that's the youth writing contest. So congratulations to all of our Absolutely. winners. Absolutely, exactly. congratulations. Yes. yes. So how do you notify? You know, it's by through the school. Yes, we. Yeah. Um, Dr. Um, Teresa Green mm -hmm. at the Saint Genevieve uh, School District. She um, contacts the kids to come. Oh. And then uh, we announce the state level winners at the meeting, mm -hmm. and they get certificates. Um, you know, for winning. Yeah. Right. And there will also be a President's Choice, which has not been announced yet, that will be announced 
at the May meeting. Mm -hmm. So um, now is that your local, pre the local for the for the president? Our local club. Yeah. The president's your local club. Judge, okay. It, it, so our local done. president Diane okay. selected hers, and she the the person may not even be a finalist. It just is one that she thought did a really great job on their writing, and so there's an, one extra oh, okay. one awesome. extra person that gets uh, rewarded. And that's a surprise. Huh? That's yeah. a surprise. Yeah, that's a surprise. <laughs> yes, that's a okay. surprise. Now, uh, in the before they start, how how long do they have? Like, when do you initially? For the writing contest? Yes, for the writing contest. We usually contest. put out the announcement in October. Oh, so they got yeah, quite a bit of time. Usually, then. we collect them in December. Now this has been a different year with, <laughs> you know, with them not going to school or right. virtual school or whatever, but we uh, and we've had as many as 80 or 90 kids write oh, stuff. Isn't that wonderful? But this year we had 30, which <laughs> was still a nice yeah. number, mm -hmm. considering that right. a lot of them aren't going to full-time right. school or right. in school. And they probably don't have as much time because they're doing a lot of homework, homework at home. Yeah, and doing work school. at home. So, right. uh, yeah. And we had uh, three teachers judge these locally. I should I mention know. that. Um, Debbie Kirchner, who is one of our members, is a former teacher and a principal. And we had um, Martha Engel, who is a former teacher, and she has been our district president, our club president. And so she has had a lot of experience with. Uh, kids <laughs> and and then we had um, Altadonna Rose Altadonna and she's also she works at St. Agnes uh -huh. in their uh, church right. uh, department there and she was a teacher right and so she was our third judge so they're they're judged and then averaged amongst the three judges uh -huh. and that's how they get to the level of, of going um, locally and then on to the state that's awesome. and I should say I didn't say this um, the number one in poetry and in short story gets sent on to national for judging. Oh, great. So they, they have another opportunity to win at the national level, and I think there's either 50 or or $100 prize money in that. So they're competing against all the kids across mm -hmm. the United the States, oh, all the clubs. Yeah. So um, if they become a winner at the national level, that's really a big deal. So I was just going to ask sure. if you had yeah. nationally. Yeah, we that's hope awesome. that that would be really neat for one of our kids to, uh -huh. to would, win something there. Really so, yeah. 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 That's yeah. good. Yeah. So talk away. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say another thing. At that May meeting when we invite all the kids in, mm -hmm. it's always interesting to, like, right now, of course, with COVID, they're not able to go to sophomore pilgrimage. They're not able to go. But in the past, they've come in and they've explained to us as members what the experience was like for them and oh, it's that's so true. interesting yes. for us to hear you know what they felt like our ones that have won our scholarships they will tell us what this means to them and mm -hmm. what they're planning on studying where mm -hmm. they're planning on going to school and it makes it personal for us instead sure. of just writing a you know right. a scholarship to someone you right. actually get to see get the person and know what they're mm -hmm. You know what they're all about, That's and I awesome. enjoy seeing that. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you are, or you aren't going to do that this year? Well, some things. That, it depends. I mean, huh? Like sophomore pilgrimage, we will still have people, but it's all going to be virtual, so they can okay. still tell us about you know what they did. Right. It won't be the same as being able to be in there. Yeah. Yeah. Diane, could you explain what sophomore pilgrimage is? Oh, sophomore pilgrimage. We select one sophomore from Valley and one sophomore from St. Jen and the schools do the selection because we of course don't know the children right. but they not under normal conditions we would take a bus up we pick all of our ninth district which goes all the way down to Kennett mm -hmm. I think is mm -hmm. our first pickup mm -hmm. and we pick up kids all along the way then we go up to Jeff City and it's just a very interesting most schools and most districts just come up for Tuesday for the sophomore pilgrimage tour the, uh, the Jefferson City the capital mm -hmm. and go to the uh, mansion and things like that but we actually go the day before and we'll stop somewhere along the way last time mm -hmm. we went to Winston Churchill Museum mm -hmm. and to the um, transportation that didn't we go to the state patrol state patrol oh. office museum. and did mm -hmm. a museum you know? mm -hmm. so we actually do things with us and then that evening we have like a little pizza party get together where they most of the kids actually get to meet their representatives Oh, which is cool. really nice you yes. know so mm -hmm. we kind of one-on-one -on -one and they they just get to do a lot more mm -hmm. because we you know choose to do the two day instead of right. just one day 
one year they even asked us, we um, got to go up to what they call the whispering room mm -hmm. in the dome. And then the little intern guy that was there, he says, what do your kids want to go higher? I'm like, I'm not sure what you mean. He said, well, we can go all the way up. And I said, well, if I'm willing to do it, they're a lot younger than me. Let's go. <laughs> so we all walked up all these stairs and ended up on the outside of the dome, walking around the Capitol, looking down over the you oh know, mansion. Goodness. It was so interesting. I bet and, so. I mean, yeah. things like this, kids will remember forever. Oh, absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. So, absolutely yeah, right. so sophomore pilgrimage, I think, is really a neat experience. Yes. I've enjoyed my part as chaperoning it. Yeah. So I'm hoping that the children, you know, right. also get as much out. Judy usually goes, too. Uh -huh. And usually it ends with a luncheon with all the Missouri elected officials, the governor, lieutenant Ooh. governor, the um, attorney general, the secretary of state, the auditor, and then the M Missouri Supreme Court justice. What an experience so, for those oh, yeah, so speak yeah, they, they uh, speak to the children, but this year it's going to be virtual. And so um, we will have many of the state officials speaking to the uh, kids um, on Zoom. Mm -hmm. And um, so, and they will be known, the two students will be known as the ambassadors for their school. And they're gonna get a signed certificate that they participated. So um, it's, it's different, we're thinking outside the box and uh, we're hoping um, that we have, normally we have anywhere from 150 to 200 students that sign up for this. Oh, and awesome. then we'll have adults, because we'll have like some of the club presidents, district presidents, and uh, usually there's chaperones, uh -huh. but we will have some adults that will also be signing up and will be able to watch this. So, um, you know, we're using um, virtual, like VidHug, I don't uh -huh. know if any of you have heard of uh -huh. that, but we're going to uh, be recording some things on VidHug. And we have a student at um, Valley who is going to do our prayer. That's so, awesome. you know, we will open with a pledge and with a prayer, mm -hmm. and so we're real proud of that. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. that. And I can't say who it is yet, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and we may have a student doing also um, uh, the pledge, pledge, you know, besides the prayer, and then we'll do a pledge to the, to the flags. That's awesome. So. I'm just hoping by next year maybe we can get back to, you know, in person doing it because yeah. what's amazing is like just on our bus load of kids we take from like I said, south all the way to mm -hmm. Kennett and all the way up. And these kids are one from each school, but yet by the time they leave, they're oh. like best friends. Yeah. I mean, they, they have made lifelong yeah. friends. Mm -hmm. They're exchanging numbers, they're, you know, contact information and they really do, and they stay connected. Yeah. Even though yeah. they're, you know, apart in different schools and whatever, they, they do well, make lifetime Well, what's good about that, they, mm -hmm. they all have phones. They can mm -hmm. FaceTime. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> they all have phones, right? <laughs> Easy to connect I, Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Diane mentioned Missouri Girls Town, which is in Fulton, near Fulton, oh, yes. Missouri. Mm -hmm. And um, back in 1952, a, a group of women from um, the state, General Federation Women's Club members, uh, they were coming back from a convention and they started talking about, you know, there's a boys town, but there is no girls town. So um, they actually started it, the planning in 1952 and in oh, 1954, really? um, they actually saw it coming to be. And in 1959, they opened a girls town and it was like in Mountain View, Missouri. And it was a smaller, you know, air, uh, mm -hmm building and everything. So then they were growing and they decided to move to Fulton, Missouri. And that was where around 1980s, in the early 80s, they moved from there and it's been open ever since. And it's for abused and neglected girls that really need help. Oh. And um, so they are housed there and they can go to school there and um, they get counseling and um, we support them through uh, donations of in kind and of funds for things that the girls need. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been many years that our club has been supporting Girls Town and playing a part in it. And I'm on the board of Missouri Girls Town, so I do attend their board meetings. And so, um, you know, we kind of get to see what's going on mm -hmm. in, in the workings of the organization. And it has truly been a blessing for many, many girls who have gone there and uh, they can be eight to 19 years old. And yeah. some of them graduate from high school and they set them up, you know, within an apartment or whatever to keep them going. And 
really turn their lives around. So we're really proud of being able to do that. Yeah. So they, so these, uh, where they're housed at, um, they have people there that yes that stay with them. Right. We have they have a large staff, mm -hmm. and um, you know they have like you know eight girls per. They have several oh, buildings. Okay. Oh, okay. And so um, they have all these different buildings with each girl, you know, has like their own area, their own mm -hmm. bedding and all that. And um, they have a dining, a couple different dining areas and uh, they do activities. They have like a gym, yeah. you know, where they do activities. And so, you know, they become like another, you know, family right. Right. of their units of uh, the counselors and uh, awesome. all that helping them. So we're, we're very, very proud of that, yeah. Do they go to uh, school at a public school? Well, have they have a school on the ground. Oh, that right. Yeah, they do, okay. they can go to school oh, okay. there or, or, you know, virtually, but some of them do end up going to high school, you know, if they're Somewhere. that age. So they from do, the and if they're, you know, at the level where they can do that, you know, where they, they can, you know, right. go to somewhere else, mm -hmm. so. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. And they're probably, and the girls are probably all o from all over. Oh, they are. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they're from all over, and some of them are assigned there by a court, by oh, the okay. courts, and, you know, and then they, they come in there in, in different ways, and some of them need a lot of help okay. when they first get there, because sometimes they're very hurt or angry or have been right. abused and, you know, really are not used to people being nice to them and good right. to them. Right. So. It makes a big difference in their lives. That's awesome. Yeah. Can, you, yeah. Can you imagine how <clears throat> how they feel when they go there and people try to be nice? They're right. probably like, I don't trust you. Well, that's right. true. Yeah. They, 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 right. Right. they have to right. earn you know, the trust. That they learn to, that they can trust mm -hmm. again. Right. So and they a, have boundaries. And they have. That's right. That's right. That's good. Yeah. And there's a lot of other things that we uh, contribute to as far as um, in the community. There's um, a lot of different fundraising type of things. Shop with the Cop and Backpack Shop, yeah. Organization, um, Christmas Festival, we help out with that. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of local. We and have, then there's a lot of other things outside of local, too. And we have our artwork at the um, Bold Details. It's the Jean Baptiste, Jean Baptiste House through the National mm -hmm. Parks. It, it was in the Welcome Center. Mm -hmm. And now it's been moved into the John Baptiste oh, okay. so Valley Home. That was your stuff. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, we have a whole room oh. with our artwork. That's very nice. Yeah, and I the, um, that. the art yeah. colony from the 1930s. You know, some of them had donated all these paintings to us, and we've been the caregivers for them. And they, but it must be on public view. And well, we recently got notified by the St. Louis Art Museum that one of the pieces of art. They want us to loan it to them right. uh, for the bicentennial. Right. Oh, that's and so awesome. that is going to be on display for several months at the St. Louis Art Museum. Mm -hmm. And it is a painting of the, um, what is it, the lime kiln, the um, Mississippi lime. Oh, Mississippi lime. Mm -hmm. Right. It is. That's Martell. Yeah. Martell painted it's, it's it. It's either Martell or Schweiss. I forget which one. It is. Amy. Amy. Amy Schweiss, I think it is. Amy did? Oh, okay, that's her mom. Yeah, so uh, her anyway, it's going to be on display, and it'll be in a catalog. So it was Art Museum, we oh, put it okay. also in a catalog that it's representing this area for, uh, oh, that's awesome. for the bicentennial. Mm -hmm. That is, mm. it's a big deal, yeah. Right. That is a big deal. Right. Yeah. And they are going to be also going to be doing a time capsule in Columbia, Missouri, that's put on by the Historical Society, that Women's Club is going to be a part of that. We're going to um, get some items that can be put in the time capsule, and I don't know if they're going to open it in 50 years or how many years. And we're going to do the same thing at Girlstown. We're going to have a special oh. one just for um, GFWC okay. at Girlstown, where they have a garden there, and in the summer we're going to do a time capsule with some items we have clubs that are more than 100 years old. Oh my god. So, goodness. yeah, what are called century clubs. And so some of the clubs started back in the late 1800s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get some items and, and put them in a time capsule. That's at neat. Missouri That's Girls neat, time. yeah. So 
Our club's been around a long time, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 72, 72 years. This is our 72nd year. Can you believe that? Oh yeah. My God. yeah. Yeah. That's, that's just unreal. A lot of great, great that we women can have been for our club. Mm -hmm. Keep going all that, all that long. And then we also do things with um, other organizations like uh, Heifer International, mm -hmm. which is an international organization. And um, Operation, Operation Smiles. Smiles. Yeah, Operation Smile for kids who have uh, left palates and they mm -hmm. uh, go in and they do surgery. And these kids, they were so shunned before and they come out and they look so, so oh, great and yeah. they're just so happy that they can, you know, go back to school and mm -hmm. not be bullied or made fun of, be, right. you know, because of, of what they, okay, their deformity like. that they did have. Yeah. And the and Christmas shoe boxes. Right. Yeah. Christmas yeah. yeah. We did that. I love every that. Year. I, that's one thing I, me and my grandkids always do every yeah. year. We just love it. I mean, they, they, they realize what they have yeah. and what these kids don't because they want they want bigger boxes because they want to get them different things you, know, you yeah. put them in those little boxes yeah you well, can get a lot of oh you can get a lot out. in there oh absolutely and we've done that let me tell yeah. you but it is a neat that is a neat thing too we yeah. did the island of flags over by the the new museum yes that that oh. was um our club it was uh i don't know it was it was several years ago that the president at that time it was kathy tate and um I think it was one of her brainchilds that they decided they needed this island of or of clubs of organizations that are in St. Genevieve. Mm -hmm. So uh, she helped get the funds together and you know get it all set up so that they could you know pour the concrete and get all the flagpoles. Mm -hmm. And so our flag still flies there, General Federation of Women's Clubs, and we you know replace that. Every six months, <laughs> every time the wind blows, probably tattered <laughs> from the wind and the sun and the rain. Oh yeah. And uh, we're hoping uh, other organizations continue to do that um, and replace their flags annually because it's it's a great thing for our community, right. yeah. for them to see all the different organizations and you know that help uh, in different ways in our community. I remember. Do they have that um, information somewhere where that can be handed out so people? that come to St. Genevieve know what that's all about? That's probably not, probably, uh, well, not. probably not documented, but I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I think that would be really right. interesting. Right, that so is. You know, because people come in town and yeah. they see all the flags yeah. and things. I don't know if, like, if there's I wonder why they got those in. there. I don't know if there's even a stone or a plaque there. That's something we I'm not sure, I only need that I don't know I if there is or not. It'd be yeah. nice to have a little plaque that, you yeah. know, of how it started. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Either that or little brochures to have Places yeah, hand out. At the Welcome yeah. Center, yes. yeah. the Welcome Center that would be a good. historical would be. thing, mm -hmm. you know that. And we're hoping as time goes on that at the new uh, museum, the Learning Center, mm -hmm. that we'll have a little corner, a historical corner, with all of our items oh, back from be the beginning of when we started, because we've got a lot of that saved up to uh, have on display mm -hmm. to tell our story. So. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll be, be nice. That'll, that'll be yeah, neat. That'll be really nice. That's yeah. neat. Have you guys got to go to that? Not yet. It's nice. Not. It's nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. But we're, our club is always looking for different projects to do for the community. And just within GFWC, we have it broken down into the five community service programs. So we look for projects in arts and culture, civic engagement and outreach, education and libraries, environment and health and wellness. So if there's anybody who has an idea for a project or it's their project but they need somebody to partner with mm -hmm. to get it off the ground and get it going, maybe we yeah. can do that. Give us oh. a call, check out, you know, email mm -hmm. us. Our email is on our website or through Facebook or through one of the officers. Oh, that's, that's maybe, awesome. maybe we should talk about membership a little bit. Well, mm -hmm. I was going to say, or explain just generally what our meetings are like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you want to, well, talk about how our meetings are usually held. I mean, we usually do f try to find a guest speaker mm -hmm. on different topics. And like, you know, this la our last meeting we had Estrella from over at the University Extension Office, and she talked to us about boosting your immune system through diet and exercise and 
you know, she gave us a lot of helpful hints. We've had, you know, all kinds of people come. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if we have somebody that's an interesting topic that wants to come and speak at our meeting, they can let us know that too. Mm -hmm. You know, we always welcome new ideas. And uh, next, in March, we're gonna have the National Parks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the Welcome Center coming. And so, you know, we try to always have a different topic. Mm -hmm. And then we usually have a little lunch and then we have our speaker and then we also have our business meeting part of it but we try to keep it kind of light and entertaining mm -hmm. and to something that people enjoy coming to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where's your meetings at we hold them in different locations oh okay and we try to you know like maybe one will be up towards the bloomsdale area the next one in st john you know right now because of covid we're trying mm -hmm. to find the bigger like we had this right. last one at the sports complex so we could pick just like two people to a table and mm -hmm. keep everyone spread out and we keep our mask on. So we're trying to stay to bigger venues right now just right. to where we can keep everyone separated. Mm -hmm. That's what's working so far. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. And our, our club is open to anybody 18 years and older. Um, you People can attend our meetings as a guest. We would just ask that you just pay for their own lunch. But they're more than welcome to attend a few meetings to see if it works for them, mm -hmm. if it's something that they would enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. and. Um, if anybody's interested in becoming a member, just contact either an officer or get in touch with us on our contact page on the website or a note through the Facebook page, and we can get going from there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's one Monday a month. Every one, third Monday. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, as far as it, it's an international uh, group, because if you become a member, you're a member locally, you're a member of a district, and you're a member of the state and you're also an international member. So that covers a lot of ground as far as membership and our membership dues are one of the, the lower price dues in the country of any organization. Our dues are $35 a year, which to be a member of all those different mm -hmm. uh, parts of this organization is, is really a bargain, it really is. As I know, many, many organizations charge over $100 for, for their dues, so ours is a very nominal fee mm -hmm. for all of that. And you would get um, information at the different levels to the state, you'd get it at the state level and at the international level of all the different projects going on and uh, newsletters, um, weekly news, we do uh, state newsletters uh, five a year, and also we do local mm -hmm. newsletters. We have newsletters for our club which keeps everybody kind of up to date about what's going on. And yeah. now with COVID, it's been more difficult for the, the district and the state and the national to get together. Okay. We would do that at different meetings. And at that time, we would also do our training, our leadership training or some introduce new ideas so clubs can take it back. Mm -hmm. So now with COVID, we've started to do Zoom meetings. So we've, we found that we're having these get together these Zoom meetings more frequently so that we're having more leadership training oh. and more ideas are being shared. So we're finding a benefit, mm -hmm. you know, an unintended yeah. benefit to right. the, the COVID situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, we're meeting people across the nation more often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, sharing a lot of ideas. And there are uh, a lot of webinars mm -hmm. they're putting out, uh, GFWC Internationals doing all these webinars with our affiliate organizations such as Canine Companions, Heifer International. John Hopkins. John Hopkins University. Those. They did yeah. one on the COVID and health and wellness. Um, so also I want to state uh, our state project is Ronald McDonald House Charities. Uh -huh. Okay. And um, so we are asking, see at this time, you can't go in and make dinners or right. breakfast like you used to because of COVID. Right. And I've been volunteering for over 20 years, uh, both at the St. Louis City ones and at the St. Louis County one by Mercy Hospital. And so we're asking our clubs within Missouri to uh, not only donate pool tabs, mm -hmm. you know, from the uh, cans and um, keys. old keys. They can oh. use those. They, they get money for those and also snacks. Since we can't go in and make meals and you know they're having to rely a lot more on snacks while, the, while their children are in the hospital recovering, right. 
then the parents usually get to stay at Ronald McDonald mm -hmm. for free or a very nominal fee. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's one of our state projects this year, and that's why we did the one collection mm -hmm. uh, in December and had lots and lots and of... we had a car filled with... <laughs> it was just incredible how even though we did not have a meeting, we ended up with an entire back of a SUV filled oh, yeah. with boxes of things to take. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. snacks and, and stuff. And those places okay. are really, really great for the family. Yes. Oh my gosh. When my husband had cancer, I stayed mm -hmm. at Hope House. Yeah. And that, I, that was an experience where you made friends mm -hmm. with the other people that were there. With, yeah. You know, there were patients that stayed there yeah. and there were just uh, wives or husbands that stayed there. Yeah. And they had entertainment for us every night, mm -hmm. every evening. There was some entertainment, and mm -hmm. and I'm sure Ronald McDonald House does the yeah. same thing. We so, met a young uh, mother yeah. when we were there mm -hmm. whose baby was in the hospital, and she said, "Oh, this is so nice that you brought." I mean, I yeah. can't imagine yeah. how you know when she was there alone. Her husband had right, been working. Uh -huh. yeah. right, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and even yeah. I think those the younger kids. We appreciated it, all of us old people right. that were there with the cancer. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I can't, you know, the kids to have yeah. something like right. that available to them. Right. I think that's so great. Right. And just some the of, fact that their the parents, parents can be there. Yeah, some of them yes. live so far away. Yeah. Yeah. It would be impossible for them to drive back and forth. Right. Or to afford right. hotel rooms for right. all that time. And they come from all, not just that's Missouri either. Right. They're, They're from, from all over, all over the come place. They from other countries. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, that um, they can't get that certain operation or whatever right. in their country. Right. So, right. you know, they come um, to yeah. Missouri and there are uh, actually 10 Ronald McDonald houses in Missouri. Mm -hmm. So, not just in St. Louis, we've got Kansas City, we got St. Joseph, Missouri, Columbia, Columbia, Columbia. Missouri, and then yeah. St. Louis has actually three of them. Mm -hmm. And then they also have inside the hospitals, they have rooms you know, for them, like a family room for oh, the for parents to together stay. there, and they can be in the hospital, you know, during right. the day, right. you know, and see their child more often, mm -hmm. you know, that way. Yeah. So, they have, uh, I, I noticed when I was there that they have the Ronald McDonald bus that picks them up, like mm -hmm. the Hope did, pick you up, take you to the hospital, come back and pick you up. Mm -hmm takes you back there so you don't have yeah, to worry about like having a, a car or yeah, transportation. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's just such a great that's organization. A, it is. That's wonderful. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I hope you can tell, too, just by looking at this table, we have a lot of different ages of women. It's oh, not yes. all just older, retired <laughs> ladies. <laughs> <laughs> impression that that's right. what our yeah. club is all about right. but no we have no. young yeah. people too young, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. and absolutely. we have people who work and still work full time but you know then they either take off or they may not be able to make yeah. every meeting but right. you know so don't feel like it there's any you know I have certain group <laughs> I have two young children and I still try to yeah. work and yeah. I make it work because it's it is so rewarding mm -hmm. yeah. it, it does really it so does good. meet my heart just so good you know yeah so and another, it's doable. Yeah, yeah. Another thing is we would like to start uh, a youth group of girls, sort of like Girl Scout age. Oh, yeah. We have what we call junior rec clubs. And these are clubs of young women, you know, say they're from 8 to 17 years old. And, um, you know, you need like 8 or 10 uh, young women that are community-minded and maybe they'd like to do a little project or two for the community. Right. And so we would welcome um, to start something like that here in St. Genevieve because um, I think that it would be a very good stepping stone oh, for them mm -hmm. to be uh, like-minded right. to want to give to their community. Right. Right. And so leadership skills. Leadership, you know, yeah. That would work really yes. well for them to be, to be out. This, that's awesome. That would be neat. I think you can get a lot of kids. Yeah. And a lot of girls. I think you can too because, uh, you know, and, and we can do things virtually, you mm -hmm. know, if they can't meet, but mm -hmm. it's good that when we'll be able to meet again right. with not any problems, right. you know, with that, with the challenge mm -hmm. that we've been facing. Mm -hmm. We've been learning yeah. how to do things in a different way. <laughs> we've been succeeding no matter what. Yeah. 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 Persevere. Well, you know what's so good about that is, you're thinking, oh, we can't. Well, we can't have a meeting tonight because because of this. Mm -hmm. But it, 
once you learn how to, to use the Zoom and, and go through that, you don't have to, you have no excuses anymore. Yeah. You know what? We can have a meeting. We don't have to, we don't have to be out here. It could or be we a, can still help people absolutely, despite the fact that absolutely. we can't be together. It doesn't meet. mean, right. yes. Right. And I think, you know, was it bad? Absolutely. But I think people have learned and learned how to adapt different mm -hmm. ways. Yep. But I think that's a, I, I think we've learned a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mentioned one other thing that we do here in St. Genevieve is we do birthday cakes for all the residents at Riverview. Oh, oh how wonderful. Yeah, Riverview at the park and um, birthday cards. And so every resident could get a birthday card from us and then we do a big cake once a month to, for those birthdays that month. Oh, yeah. So we've been doing that for a long a time. Long yeah. We used to do individual cakes you know, right. for each of their birthdays, but then that got difficult, and especially <laughs> with COVID now, so we just have one cake oh, yeah, yeah. At, at the monthly birthday meeting mm -hmm. that they have. And yeah. So but it's something that, and some of them may not even receive a birthday card otherwise, oh, probably, yeah. or get their birthday celebrated. Mm -hmm. So we're really help, glad to help with that celebration. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you have one awesome. cake a month, and yeah, it's for all of them, for all of the residents. Happy resident. birthday for yeah. all of them, yeah. and um, and then they get their cards, their birthday cards. That's, That's awesome. great. They yeah, get their cards. Yeah. yeah. Right. And hopefully they get sung happy birthday to too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think we can go too far. I don't let them in anymore. No, but hopefully as a group that they'll get to celebrate. Right. You know. Right. Yeah. yeah. We That's used awesome. to like doing that, though. We would take the cards, you know, on their birthday, and some people would even, some members would buy a balloon or something. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Someday we'll get back to. Yeah, maybe someday we'll get to do that again. They will be. <laughs> yeah. So. So yeah, anybody out question? there listening want to call in and ask a question? Feel free. And we've got, we've got. I have my paper that <laughs> I've been trying to get more. So yes. Like we said, but come to a meeting, mm -hmm. check us out, mm -hmm. see if you like it. No, you know what? For some pressure. reason, this is this has been years ago. I, I'm sure I belong to this because I remember Mary Ann, mm -hmm. Otto, mm -hmm. and uh, Kathy Tate. Mm -hmm. yep. She's a she's a card herself. Mm -hmm. She's awesome. She's the sweetest <laughs> person. Yeah. Um, but you know. I belong to something. I couldn't remember what it was, but it's been years well, ago. Well, and like and I said, we're not a, you know, a pressure group. We're not right. going to make you be at every meeting. I mean, right. we'd like you to be, but no. If you, right. something comes up, that's fine. Yeah. Just, but if you are coming or if you're coming as a guest, please let us know just to where right. we make sure that we have a lunch for you, you know, that we're ready for you. But right. other than that, no. And as a well. member, you pick and choose which projects you want to participate in. Mm -hmm. I was just going to ask that. There's no pressure. You, you could do whatever. So, and, you know, if you're a busy person, you can't make it, that's okay, too. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's other ways to mm -hmm. um, be engaged. Yeah. Yes. But well, just like these, what we was talking about, that shop and drop. Oh, yeah. yes. Where people brought snacks or people brought the combs and brushes. And a lot of them were members who right now do not feel comfortable coming to meetings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they still wanted to be oh, yeah. active with be it. And it. so yeah. you don't, you know, always have to be there to be active and right. be very important to the globe. Right. Yeah, we've done stuff like collect paper towels and Kleenex mm -hmm. and um, sanitary wipes. For schools, for schools, for schools. Oh, we've yeah. done that several times. Yeah, for the women's shelter, we've done socks. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I think we collected like four hundred pairs of socks or something yeah. at one time. Yeah. Um, for a company called Monarch Jewelry, we collect the costume jewelry, mm -hmm. and they repurpose it into fine pieces of jewelry, and they use their funds, the proceeds that they get from the sale of the jewelry, to help combat sex trafficking. Right. In really? Crisis yes. Aid International is who they help with. And it can be broken jewelry. Broken yeah, jewelry. It can be one earring. earring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and lose an earring. Don't grow so, yeah, so we'll it. So it. it could be costume jewelry. Yeah, anything. Mm -hmm. it, can be, it can be broken. Girls. It can right. be a broken necklace. Little crystals you just have to be off an old lamp or a yeah. chandelier or something, and they make mm -hmm. beautiful yeah. right. Even things out of it. Oh, one member has a necklace that is made out of a chandelier. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Really? Actually, this, so anything this watch I have on, 
was bought from them, and, and it was broken at first. I could, took it to Stagger Jewelry, and they fixed it, but I love it. It's the only watch I have that winds, that doesn't need a battery. Oh, yeah. Just needed a battery. You just got to remind remember to wind it every day. No, it doesn't need a battery. But, yes, that's why it was kind of broken jewelry. Oh, all of that's good to know. Some things you don't wear or anything. Yeah, we collect it, and then we take it to them, yeah. and they make wonderful things and use the money to help. A lot of people that need it. Right. Mm -hmm. So, any of your listeners, if you have old broken yes. jewelry, maybe the chain broke or you know whatever bracelet, maybe you got just the beads left from it. Right. We'll we'll take all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, okay. if you want to drop it off to one of us or yeah, come by, us come by we'll and come meet it. You know, <laughs> I will. I'll remember that. I know I have quite a bit of it that I can, yeah. that and it I can do that. And it doesn't have to be the good expensive stuff. Right. Well, like I mean, you just yeah. said, costume. I mean, I yes. have a lot of... It's amazing what they can yeah. make and turn into something beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. And they've been selling, making, sewing masks and selling those as part of their fundraiser. And they haven't been able to do a lot of things in person this year because of... Right. Can't have big group events sometimes. So right. they're really um, appreciative of anything they can get. So, uh, if somebody would want to buy in, any of that stuff, where do, where's, do well, they have, like, is it gonna, online? We're going to have them at our district meeting in Cape Dorado. Oh, okay. And then we're going to have them at our state meeting in Jefferson City okay. in April. Okay. So, if you become a member, mm -hmm. you can go to our district I can go to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I can't walk I by could, their table and not. No, I was going to say, I could buy, yes. but then they can have all the stuff that, I, <laughs> that I'm not well, wearing Well, we're anymore. hoping to get them. We had them come to one of our meetings several years ago. Yeah. So, we'd like to get them to come back again sometime to town to where, because we have newer members now that maybe didn't see them right. the first time right. they came. Right. Right. And, right. And, and they need help because... Uh, it, Sex trafficking is so such oh. a serious thing, and people have a lot of people have no idea how rampant it is in different cities in Missouri. Uh -huh. And some of these girls are very young, and um, you know they're they think someone's helping them. They get into this and they can't get out of it. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's such a worthwhile organization that mm -hmm. we're really glad to support. That's awesome. That would that would be something to be a part of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so simple, just keep yeah. your broken jewelry. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just when you, you know, have a piece instead of throwing it in the trash, just put it in the bag mm -hmm. and keep collecting it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. They actually work, they have a lot of volunteers and they work out of a house of a uh, church in St. Louis County. And that's where they they have like a location where they can get together and sort out everything and they, they make things, you know, make the jewelry and such. So they're not that far away from us. You know, right. where, they, where they do all this. So. I think we yeah. covered just about everything we did. Mm -hmm. We do. Um, yeah. I think when we leave, we'll say, oh, we forgot to mention Well, this. yes. With <laughs> um, quarters for headquarters. I mean, we've been, there's so many things yeah. that we do. <laughs> and we're headquartered in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. um, we... It, it was passed by Congress in order for us back in the early, the late 1800s, it was passed through Congress for our organization. And one of the things they mandated was that we have a location in Washington, D.C. And we're only like six blocks from the Capitol. Oh, oh my goodness. And so uh, we have a national headquarters that is over 200 years old. And so we are right now in a stage where we're trying to help with renovations because things start needing, oh, yeah. you know, some work. And it's a beautiful building. I've been there, and um, it um, has a lot of history there. And Eleanor Roosevelt is one of the ones who helped us define that building. She was a member of GFWC, and she um, helped us buy that building back in, like, 1900. So, uh, <laughs> really proud of that. Long yeah. history, yeah. Eleanor Roosevelt. Yeah. Well, and the good thing is that you don't have to be, you don't have to, um, how do I want to say, how do I want to say this? You can, you can be anybody to join this. Yeah. You no, don't have yes, to be sure. business, right. no. business said, person, you business be, minded. You know, people who, some people are still working full time. Right. Some people are retired and have been retired for right. many years. Some people... Yeah, right. all walks of life, all different, and that's what's interesting. You meet some women that, it's a powerful group of women. It just yeah. inspires you. Yes. 
all the I, different things that they've done and the, yeah, the world they've lived. Right. <laughs> but you will it's, naturally gain business skills. Yeah. Oh, be, oh, so sure. Just like being a part of the group. Yeah. Right, right. All right. And actually, I moved here from St. Louis, and I did not know anyone. And because I joined Women's Club, I have met so many people and made a lot of good friends from that. So um, that's one of the things. If, if you're new here and you'd like to um, get to know some people, it's a really good socialization type group. Mm -hmm. And so I, it would be a good fit for almost anyone you know, like that. Um, so I was really glad that someone invited me to a meeting and I joined and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> and now she is our state president, yeah. which is really a feather in our cap that we have yeah. our state president. Right, absolutely. Uh, well, we have 66 clubs in Missouri. So we're really glad of that and proud of that. And um, each one's a little different and um, all of them help out their communities in some way. So that's a lot of ladies out there that are Absolutely. doing good things for their communities. Well, just some of the stuff you said tonight was, and like you said, there might be more, but what you said tonight was enough to. <laughs> well, and like I said, it's only one day a month. You know, we usually meet on the third Monday of the month. Sometimes it gets changed, like. Well, it's going to be snowing, so we can't right. do push it up. Right. But you know that's normally when we do. So it's only you know a couple hour meeting once a month, and we do not meet in June, July, and August. Right. So it's not a huge time commitment. And then the other stuff that we do, you do as little or as much as you would like to do. And so with the Ronald McDonald House, the tabs and stuff, mm -hmm. do you collect that all year long? Or? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I. I know a lot of people that always ask. I just tell them to bring the McDonald's, right. but you know what? We could give them to you, and well, and then we'll take them in, yes. into one of the mm -hmm. like we had boxes and boxes of, of and our, last the state I mean, tons of them. They had oh like gosh. a three-tier cart that was just over loaded with boxes of mm -hmm. tabs. Just tabs. And how little yeah. they are, right. and they were so big. Right. There. Yeah. Right. Well, like McDonald's through, through McDonald's, it's just people that bring them. Like the schools, um, mm -hmm. a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, brought some big totes for them. Uh -huh. So, and that just goes. I mean, we just take them and put them on a truck and take them to the Mc, or okay. take them up there. Mm -hmm. But this way, if you guys got them, it would mm -hmm. be coming from the women's club. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, we would you know, be happy so to do that, and then we could say it's from the whole town. Right, because we could do that. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. But, yeah. Now they used to have little boxes. I don't know if they still they have don't those. Have, they're not making those anymore. No, they? they're not. And all my grandkids had them, and they would find any time they'd find drinks or whatever, uh -huh. they'd always always get them. Yeah. But, yeah. No, they're not doing them. Yeah. I think we have four, mm -hmm. um, and then when they're full, they just yeah because they still like them. But, right. Um, they don't have them anymore. Yeah, but if people would just get like a baggie or a jar, yep. mm -hmm. and don't throw away your cans without pulling that little tab Absolutely. off, and they could be soda cans, or it could even be some, a lot of vegetables and fruits They're now sharp. have pool tabs yeah, they have the also. Mm -hmm. yeah, count. Oh, all those, yeah. All mm -hmm. those will work. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and there's the, other and other the beverages. And the keys, that's a big key. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know anything about the keys. Yeah, they, they're collecting, there's an outlet for those that I don't, for I'm not keys, sure. For keys. keys. Old keys. Old keys. Old keys. I'm like, how many of us have keys, keys that we don't even know what they go to okay. anymore? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, or if you move or whatever, you've got all these keys. You and you don't want to get rid of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you hate because these oh, you know what? That right, going to right, got to show up. Yeah, one of these days I will find out where that key goes. Right, right, right. And when you think about it, some of those weigh quite a bit, I and mean, some oh, yeah. of them are brass or they're you know they're yeah, heavier so steel. They're not just aluminum or whatever. So what do right. they do with those? I'm not sure. Um, I, I know. I'm sorry? They make needles out of them. Don't yeah. Make jewelry out of them? Needles. No, needles. Needles. They melt them down. Oh, no, make, don't oh okay. On that. Right. That's they just, they melt them down and, and make something. Right. Oh, there, oh, there's a, a market for them. And Ronald McDonald, you know, they, I know Kansas City does a lot with them. <laughs> you know, the Ronald McDonald's there. So we've just now started collecting them for St. Louis. So, um, you know, they're finding out, hey, you know, there's, they can, you know, That's use awesome. some of the funds from that. So, um, you know, we're happy to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And they're well, small. Yeah. Keys aren't that big. So. No. 
<laughs> but I know I have a little a little key. To, well, no, it's not a little one. It's a bigger one, and it's got all these keys on it. Uh -huh. And I always ask my husband, where are these? Why don't we just throw these away? <laughs> now, I've yeah. never thrown them away yeah, because yeah, I didn't know what they meant. Yeah, but now, it looks like it, yeah. Yeah, because nobody's ever going to know what they go to. Well, yeah. we don't even know what they go to. <laughs> you got I that think a couple of them. Way back when. Well, yeah. and you know what? When our grandkids were little, they liked to play with keys. Yeah. You know, yeah. they would just thought there was something, but mm -hmm. I think some of them probably put from our house that we used to live in, our cars mm -hmm. that we used to have. Right. Yeah. Back um, when you had a key for the When we had a different car. Right. Right. Yeah. right. When you had Not the key. Not that we're dating ourselves. No. <laughs> you know, there's even skeleton keys. There's just oh, all yes. kinds of keys. Oh, yes. There is. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 So. But. Very interesting. Oh, ladies, this yeah. was awesome to hear. It just is. Well, thank just you for having me here. Oh, oh yes. yes. And like this year, the Christmas festival, too, we couldn't be in the parade. Mm -hmm. So we took all the candy, you know, you couldn't throw candy. Mm -hmm. So we took all the candy we had collected, bagged it all, and made, what, 300 individual 300 bags, bags and mm -hmm. gave them out to the kids at Lions Park. It's oh, like we yes, adjust I remember to you what doing that. gets yeah. thrown at us. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Right. That's. So please okay. come join us for a meeting sometime and check us out. Yeah. No yeah. pressure. You can join if you want. You don't have to, but and you can like be to involved see as much and as you want. And it's very informal. Yeah. yeah. That's yes. right. Okay. It's like a group of friends. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to dress up. No. They're not <laughs> fancy. You know, back in the old days, they'd wear their gloves oh, and their hats and all that. They, they <laughs> We're not fancy. Right. Nobody's we fancy anymore. We wear many anymore. hats, but not <laughs> yeah, but not. <laughs> Just and sometimes we'll yeah. say, okay, it's March, by St. Patrick's, wear your green, or last, yeah. oh, last meeting Gras. we said, wear Mardi Gras colors. Right. Or, you know, we try to right. do something right. fun to That's festive right. type thing, but yeah. Yeah. no, we don't, That's... people come always. <laughs> and some, once in a while we'll have some entertainment, like we got our blues sister group, and like, you know, we, we play the tune to the Blues Brothers. That, that movie they oh, had, yes. you know, this um, theme and the theme song. Yes. So the Blues Sisters. So we're the Blues Sisters. sisters. So once yeah. in a while, you know, you'll come across some entertainment like that, and we really have fun with that. <laughs> yeah. And at the beginning of the year, when we we talk about all the meetings throughout the year, mm -hmm. we have actors who uh, mm -hmm. who dress up in certain outfits, you know. And one was Dolly Parton, and mm -hmm. uh, that was for Reading <laughs> Express. And then one was um, like all kinds of you know binoculars and pit hats and all that for the national parks and i yes. mean we would instead of just talking about what we would do each uh -huh. month we would dress a people up and go out yeah. there and show them what show we were doing <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really fun you know and they'll yeah. want to look like a bunny rabbit or something and <laughs> that was marianne <laughs> that was marianne was had her bunny rabbit and, cr and she santa claus Yes, she, she did. Yes, she yeah. did. Yeah. Oh, she my best that. memory with her, though, we had one of our meetings out at the Tiger Sanctuary, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and she literally had her son paint her whole face. face. She looked like, like a, a tiger. tiger when she walked in. <laughs> it was I amazing. I could see it her was win. Really win. Yeah. Anything, practically anything, you know. Yeah. She was just... That's amazing. one thing we really, really miss. Yeah, we oh, miss yeah. her terribly, yes. but she used to have all these bouncy... <laughs> things for every Critters season whatever, yeah. and we would have them on the table and uh -huh. they advance. <laughs> <laughs> you had your own we'd, yeah we'd oh, start yeah. when we'd start the show we would she would start that yeah, thing hopping going. around or oh, singing or whatever yeah yeah oh. so we you know she always gave us some laughs and we like to continue some of that and have some mm -hmm. right. uh, really yeah. you know fun times at our state convention we're going to have uh, two speakers that are um, very funny women and they're gonna, you know, laughter is the best medicine, mm -hmm. and they are gonna really make us have a good time. And we're gonna have the Missouri Derby instead of the Kentucky Derby, and so oh, we're gonna have awesome. some fun and games that uh, people are gonna. Have. Last last time we did the uh, what is it, the corn cornhole cornhole, cornhole. cornhole. Oh, tournament, okay. and indoors. people really people indoors. indoors people really got into that. It was really a lot of fun, you know, a <laughs> little competition there. Oh yeah. yes, oh so, yes. So we saw the Derby. The Missouri Derby, and uh -huh. we started talking about where we're going to get our hats and our uh -huh. Derby outfits. Oh my gosh! Yeah. That's in April, so it's yeah. Actually, we're going to have fascinator hats. Have you ever seen those? Oh, yeah. No. They're little hats, and they have little boing boings and stuff on them. <laughs> they uh, they're wearing those out at Kentucky Derby, and they wear them in England. 
to a lot of events and they're like sometimes they're like sideways and they have like flowers and feathers oh so, my god yeah so so I you need to join so you can go to <laughs> yeah, yeah. They are. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Martha has all these oh, thoughts going yes, through I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> our international state president is also coming to our uh, meeting in Jefferson City. So um, we're really uh, glad to have her, and um, her name is uh, Marion St. Clair. Okay. So uh, we're really looking forward to her because she's going to share a lot of good things with us and also mm -hmm. talk about some international projects. We have some international clubs, too, outside the country. Oh. That will be there, so um, we'll we'll talk about it there. They won't, they won't be coming to ours. They go to the international meeting, but yeah. we're going to hear some of the neat things that they're doing too. And they help all the countries outside of the U.S. Yeah, yeah, they're outside of the U.S. and like you know Bahamas, and I know there's one in Japan, and there's several of them that are outside of the country that do projects for their communities, mm -hmm. and um, some of them are in need of a lot of help. You know, and it's just amazing what these ladies do for their communities outside of the United States. Mm -hmm. So we'll be hearing a lot of that also. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so exciting. hopefully we have made some people of these think about mm -hmm. coming yeah. to join us. Absolutely. And, you know, get a hold of us through the, our Facebook page or our web page, any, any way you can get, you know, you can call one of us, find out, you know, get a hold of us and just say, I want to try it. Right. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to be there, but I want to try it. And right. that's all we ask. Right. Just right. come and check us out and see if you like us. Okay. You might find lifetime right. friends like we have. Absolutely. <laughs> and if anybody would like to call in, um, you, the number is on the the screen. Right. 7675-883-7675. Um, okay. Remember, GFWC stands for General Federation of Women's Clubs. Okay. Okay. And because um, a lot of people will say, what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> this is women's clubs. What is right. General Federation of Women's yeah. Clubs? Oh, yeah. Can you mention what our Facebook, what our Facebook name is? I, I don't think, think we so. mentioned it's the name. It's GFWC of St. Saint, Saint S-C-E dot Genevieve, M-O. That's the Facebook page. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the Instagram page is GFWC S-T-E Genevieve. Is that on the back of this mm -hmm. company? Mm -hmm. Is it okay. on the back? Yeah. Oh, there it Along is right there. Along with the website. Okay. Yeah. They're available. All right. Maybe we can put some of these, our brochures at the library, you know, since people come by there publicly, maybe we can make them available at, at the mm -hmm. library. Mm -hmm. That would be one public place. And hopefully there are some other areas that we can put them out. Well, I know they're at the chocolate. in every bag of people coming through the chocolate walk. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, this year's health fair, of course, had to be virtual because we usually had a booth up and mm -hmm. would hand things out. And so we thought, well, where else could we put our brochure? So we put it, <laughs> made up 300 of them, put them in the bags that they gave out at Chocolate Park. And oh, okay. So we, we just adapt. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we will have a prize at the uh, health fair that's health virtual fair? from St. Genevieve Hospital. Are if having their virtual on. health fair this week. And Our so, emblem is on the health fair website and you can uh -huh. click on it and find out more information mm -hmm. about us. Is and that the 22nd or 23rd? It started the 22nd. It started the 22nd. Right. And it goes right through, through Friday. To the 26th, mm -hmm. isn't it? No. Of March? No. No, no, no. no. This oh, this week. week. This week. Oh my gosh, right. this is the end of February. Right. And we're also <laughs> yeah, a, member, a member of the St. Genevieve Chamber of Commerce. Oh, okay. We are a part of that. Oh. Yes, we have an emblem on that big sign coming right for, for the bridge. Yeah, on mm -hmm. 4th Street. Yeah, Actually, yeah. I mean, that's our, what I thought. Yeah, our GFWC mm -hmm. emblem mm -hmm. is right on there. The tracks you know, that the might bridge. be another place you might want to put a few flyers at the chamber office. Do you happen to Do a lot that? of people come in there? Um, yeah. I, I help Dean out sometimes, and yeah. there would be local Or the li would be. license office, too. Oh. Or, well, you know what, the license office now, now, yeah, you know, that might be better. Well, Dean is at both places. Yeah. I mean, she checks on both yeah that's true yeah. hey, that's an idea the license office the, the new license, license office mm -hmm. yeah that would really yeah. be a yeah. thrive nutrition thrive yes yeah well they and? Made, oh that's well, a place that was mm -hmm. yeah that's at the and we're getting book. a new bakery so that might be mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah i'm excited about that. um yeah. Yeah. and that's, is that on merchant street it's, it's right down to the, where bill nagger yeah Right Bill there. Nagger, you know, Close where he's got his by yeah. the Audubon. Yeah. 
it's in the empty side. Yeah. yeah. And or they're it's hoping be in that, the empty yeah, side. they're hoping yeah. that it gets. Is it on the same street as Stivers? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's right right between the, the post office, office and Audubon. Yeah, okay. right. Yeah. yeah. Across right the street side. side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Don't quote me, but I I want to say it's one two three. <laughs> Actually, it's right across from Sarah's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So said right across right from, across from, from, from Sarah's. Oh, Sarah's. okay. Yeah. It's a shame they couldn't yeah. have went in the old bakery building. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. The old but, old bakery building yeah, that's, that's got that's bacon, bakery nice up there. Support, yeah. We're you know? gonna have we're gonna have her on next month. Oh, good. Uh, and she's gonna talk about it. Is she a local person? Oh yes, Pat Shaw. Yeah. Um, she's yeah. down at the railroad tracks. Down in Cross Farmers, Farmers Market. Yeah, the, <laughs> well, the ra it's by the railroad tracks down on yeah. Merchant Street. Okay. Down yeah. at the very end, you just keep going, and they've got a tent, two tents set up down there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And she bakes for oh, you if you, you call her. That's yeah. right. It's not. It's not out not there the at the farmer's, farmer's market. market. No, it's, it's down. Their own. Yeah. And I'm yeah. telling you They've what. They've got their I, own down there. I thought I'd try what, a little bit. When of, can you oh go there? I mean, is that on the weekends? It's yeah. on Saturdays. Yeah, Saturdays. Okay, Saturdays. Okay, that's and, good to know. And um, she's going to have, there'll be, selling, there'll be some food that they'll be selling down there. Yeah. They and make then, really, really good bread. Oh, oh wow. There, really there's nothing bread. that yeah. I. <laughs> Nothing that I don't like. So and lots of different sweets. So she would have been in with our group. So listen to me. So listen to me. We have nutrition, thrive nutrition, and then we have bakery. Yeah. So one bakery one day, nutrition the next day. But you know, just I just think that and jellies oh, and tomatoes and, oh, and onions and oh, all kind of produce. Everything yeah. you ever. It's on the weekends if you ever get a wow, chance. And she was great. there until November this yeah, year. Yeah, it was okay. a long time. So probably in April or May they might uh, open that. Well, they maybe they just trip. have it at their shop. I don't know. Well, she said there's some things that they can sell there uh -huh. that they can't sell at the other place. Okay. The vice versa. And her son owns a um, uh, brewery in Cape, mm -hmm. and they're going to do beer. They're going to try to get it later on. They're going to yeah. do uh, get the license, oh, well. but it's huh. bottled beer that they nice. make. Wow. So. Yeah, they'll just, have beer and roll. I'm glad to see a new bakery. Well, they'll have soups and sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, you know, just all the neat stuff that, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, we need some businesses in our town. We do. We just. Right. Right. And people, well, if people would support the ones that have tried it. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. If they would have supported them, they could have made right. it. But yeah. that didn't happen. Well, this yeah. past year has been hard on everyone. So. Well, it has. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's probably time for something new to start up and right. hopefully uh, people are ready to support. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. take a good go of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we try to do at our meetings when we have lunches. We try to get one of our local places to mm -hmm. be our caterer for that oh, month. Yeah. And, you know, mm -hmm. we try to help out. We keep it all local. Right. Yeah, we had Stella and me at our last meeting. Yeah, Stella and mm -hmm. me was the last meeting. And mm -hmm. I think Mimi's will be the next one. And, you know, we, we try mm -hmm. to help. Right. Yeah, help we've had Cafe Genevieve has okay, catered for Genevieve. us. Mm -hmm. and Beanick? Beanick? Yeah, Beanick. We had Beanick and we had from um, Country Mart. I mean, we try to. Mm -hmm. yeah. So know. the Beanick, they sell food down there then too? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do they? Like sandwiches? And oh, yes. Oh, quiche is delicious yeah, from there. I've heard their quiche oh, is really good. Oh, the quiche is wonderful. <laughs> and she yeah. made these little apple turnovers yes. that were really good, you know. So okay, a quiche. The quiche or, or what did you? What we did? The chicken salad and the apples are over. <laughs> you can't forget that apple. You can see where I'm at. I'm okay. Just so you know, we always end with something sweet. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Even when at our first meeting, the officers and the farmer presidents usually provide some kind of lunch. Well, mm -hmm. we had a chili cook-off this year. Mm -hmm. We had four different kinds of chili. And people had to, you know, write their number, their favorite, oh. and everything. Mm -hmm. But we all mask and gloves, and right. we served it into mm -hmm. little cups for them to mm -hmm. take. We kept everything. And even then, with our desserts, we made little cookies and individually wrapped each cookie and cellophane. And <laughs> I mean, we have been mm -hmm. trying to keep and knock on wood. We've done really yeah. well mm -hmm. to keep 
everyone yeah. okay. Keep but, us, yeah. Yeah. Yes, and Judy actually was crowned yes. our chili, chili queen. queen. Chili queen. Yes. Yes. I was, oh. <laughs> and it, hey. was, it was not known who did what chili yeah. or whatever. It was all yeah. anonymous. Yeah. Oh. Was, uh, we had so what was in that chili? I was in total shock. <laughs> <laughs> and she cherishes the handmade trophy that she has. Yes, it has a spoon on it and a, oh, a ladle and a, <laughs> yeah, a ladle or something. Oh, yeah, I've never fun. seen anything like it, but I it's an I, individual I, yes, I, mean, I display it in my dining room. Because it's, there you go. There yeah. you go. That's yeah. <laughs> my granddaughter had great fun helping me put it together. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. That's so, awesome. So we do try to enjoy ourselves at I mean, we are a serious club. We do a lot of really good right. things, and we do have part of our meeting is a business meeting where we go through everything that we're doing right. in that. But at the same time, we try to keep it light and we try to keep mm -hmm. it fun, yeah. mm -hmm. so people enjoy coming and not right. dread coming. Yeah, <laughs> right. right, right. And you know, diversity is a part of this. Uh, you know, we welcome anyone you know who would like to join us. Um, you eighteen know, and older. Eighteen, 18 and older. older, and of course. We would like to start some younger groups too, because right. I think that would be really beneficial for them. Um, so, um, the you unity can and diversity is our <laughs> national mode, mode, you know. And so, yeah. so we want to make sure that everybody knows they are welcome. Okay. And you do as much or as little as you want. You don't have to go all in and be an officer if you're, you know, you just right. want to come be a member. That's fine. Everyone's welcome. <laughs> but if you want to, you can mm -hmm. go for that. You can that. work your way work up. Work your to way it. up, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Or yeah. even work your way up to a state president. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if someone had told me 14 years ago I would become the state president, I would have said, You are a kid. You, you know. <laughs> oh, president three yeah. years ago. Yeah. Right. Yes. Because right. I didn't even know what this was when they invited me to a meeting. You know, one of my neighbors invited me, and I had I didn't even have any idea what it was. <laughs> I'd never heard of it. Right. You know, so um, I'm so glad that they did invite me because uh, I've met a lot of inspiring ladies, and um, it's it's really a, a great thing to do, and a nice opportunity for anyone who wants to give us a try. And just mingle. Some people that don't have a chance to get out and go mm -hmm. somewhere else mm -hmm. or, or get in any kind of groups. This, for ladies, mm -hmm. this would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. my favorite part is the socialization. The socialization, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. And meeting new people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And when you network, you get so many ideas and so many, you know, like everybody shares information, you know, and you find out, you know, like, you know, where to get something fixed or mm -hmm. you know, who's painting, who knows how to paint something or, you know, it's, it's a network of information. Yes. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing all the backgrounds that different people come from oh. you have no idea. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and the knowledge they have or the craft skills they have or, you know, so many things. And I know we have many ladies out there that, and young, young ladies out there mm -hmm. that yes. would be good at this. Right. And we're not opposed to even, you know, starting an evening group. We, we do meet at lunchtime, mm -hmm. you know, we meet at mm -hmm. 11 o'clock. And, um, you know, we could start a group that can't meet right. during the day that would want to meet in the evening. Maybe there's some young women, you know, new mothers, young mothers that, you know, they could stand, do an right. hour or so in the evening once a month, but maybe they can't get to the meetings to join us. We'd be happy to entertain that if we had if you get you know, an interest in it right we have like maybe say be 10 ladies who might be interested in doing right. something like that also we have virtual clubs who were virtual before we used virtual oh really yeah some oh, of them yes. only oh. meet online mm -hmm. and uh, and some of them will meet like once or twice a year in person and all the rest of the time they just do online meetings so oh, wow. they're called cyber clubs oh yeah so that's also an option. That was an option before we had to Zoom, before we started to use Zoom. So we knew we had to do all They were ahead of the time yeah. for that. So uh, we have one in St. Louis that is a, a, a cyber club. That's all, oh. They only meet you know, by online. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but they have the same opportunities to go to district meetings and state meetings they can you know they they can choose to go or not go or whatever so that's a nice thing 
then we get to meet more people. Right. You, yeah. mm. you learn so much. Oh, yeah. I mean, just the longer you're in it, the more you do, you just, right. or I feel that way. I yeah. feel like I've learned um, yeah. a tremendous amount of stuff. Well, <laughs> and when you go to a district or a state meeting, you hear about projects that they do, and you think, oh, my gosh. We could do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or that you know, would be Because we never thought of it or yeah. whatever or how you do it. Mm -hmm. And um, so, and also you win awards at the state level for some of the projects that you do. So that will be done at the state meeting in Jefferson City this time. And then at the international level, they also have awards in all these different areas and um, community service and advancement areas, which are like membership and uh, legislation. Um, oh, we have a Women's uh, History Resource Center in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. and so if you do things for historical mm -hmm. purposes, that's another area. So there's, there's more, there's just a lot of different things you can do if you'd like to, to get a, be a part of it. And eventually we are going to have a paver down in Perryville at mm -hmm. Veterans. Oh, Memorial. at the memorial. Oh, yes. yes. We, yeah, we have done that. They just don't have it completed yet. Right. And like um, this past year in December, we decided to get a couple of them wreaths that wreaths across America mm -hmm. up in uh, Jefferson Barracks Cemetery. Mm -hmm. and so, uh -oh. I mean, there's a lot of different things that mm -hmm. we do. Yeah. And yeah, we like to support our veterans anytime we can mm -hmm. with different things. And that's why we did the wreaths across America mm -hmm. and why we're the doing the paver at. Uh, at the memorial at Perryville Veterans Memorial. And that's really, if you haven't been down there, that's a really neat thing mm -hmm. to see, too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's Very a replica of the Vietnam yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Veterans Wall. So right. it's right. really cool. So when you fundraise to, to make this extra money? Yes. Okay. Yeah, sometimes we sell raffle tickets. We used to have, um, we sell baked goods once a year yeah. as one of our fundraisers, but now we do virtual. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we call it, what do we call it? The bake bakeless, bakeless, bake bake sale. Bake sale. Bake sale. Oh, we yeah. don't have to bake, we just donate the money. Right. <laughs> well, and they did that at the hospital. Bake bake sale. Sale. Yeah. Yeah. Because said, I was, go ahead. Like, Kath, like Catherine said, that if you just, the money you would have spent on baking, right. mm -hmm. you take that, you know, $10 or whatever it is, and, donate. and you and donate, donate it to the bakeless bake sale. Right, yeah. And then we use that, you know, mm -hmm. for fundraisers like that. Because yeah. the hospital on um, the did that, yeah. the bake list. Yeah. And you know what? So many times it was so much, It like you needed that bakery or you need that item. And, oh, gosh. Right. I don't have time to do it now, uh -huh. you know, or whatever, that money. I And I even always donated more money thinking this is worth it to me. Yeah. yeah. That I didn't have. Now, I love to bake, but yeah. you know, it's just so hard <laughs> at my yeah. own time. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Well, one of the things I usually make at our for our auction is I make a rum cake oh. for a girl's town. And very heavy. Uh, very heavy. Uh, it has a lot of rum in it. I have to so you, you eat a very small piece, right? <laughs> yeah, but you could even eat it for breakfast because it's so good. Oh, I bet it is. <laughs> and then people bet on it, you know, and all that money goes towards <laughs> girls' town um, when we are able to have our raffles. So. Yeah. That's kind of a fun thing when we have that. So here we go. Bidding against each other. Chili, chili yeah. and rum cake. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> one year somebody brought a rooster. Oh, not a real one. It was a ceramic rooster. Yeah. And they donated it to the auction. Well, we had a couple of ladies who collected oh, roosters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. And that got me. They, they bid on that. I don't know. It went for $80 or something like that. Oh, my oh, gosh. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> They had some fun competition <laughs> at our auction because, you know, like the same people, two people want the same thing and they just keep going. Yeah. So, oh, yes. <laughs> that's what, that's what it's it is wow. fun. That is a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Ladies, it is so inspiring to hear you guys here tonight. Yeah. And you're going to get our March meeting. And I might be at the March meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bring your beads back. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and your pull tabs. And, and my pull tabs and my, <laughs> and my keys. That's Just loaded up and it will help you unload. <laughs> and that costs you no money. Like your yeah. pull tabs and your old nothing. keys. There's no output of money, and it's something that you may right. have just thrown away. Same with broken so, jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I work with some women. I don't tell them this is what I need. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. 
But We're even the pull tabs, we, we could probably get mm -hmm. pull tabs right. Yeah. yeah, you can contact one of us on the on the back of here, mm -hmm. and we'll pick it up for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna go home and clean out, huh? <laughs> well, actually, I got most of it done because you know I, I my daughter sold uh, Premier jewelry, and then, and I sold it too. It's it's just high fashion jewelry. Yeah. I mean, uh, that kind. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> but there's some that I bought probably 15 years ago, and mm -hmm. I. Most of it I didn't buy because I either sold it or I had parties for the family. Yeah. And, you know, by getting it free mm -hmm. when 10 years later, it's... Oh, you I got know. a lot of it. I, got, oh, <laughs> I think I got like 42 boxes. Oh, my, God. oh my gosh. I got jewelry. <laughs> oh, yes. You keep so, somebody busy for me. And I'll tell, my, I'll tell my daughter, you know, I'll tell them that... Yeah, well, I love jewelry, and I love to buy. Oh, I do too, I girl. Mean, I love to costume jewelry, but I love to buy bracelets <laughs> mm -hmm. and things like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So, I have lots. Yeah. And it's just amazing to see what they do with you know, oh, stuff I that people only, would yes. normally throw away. I mean, and you would. And like, I so, mean, you know, I mean, necklaces that have little think. crystals hanging or stuff like that, and then people get rid of that stuff. Well, they take it and make things make, out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's piling up in my jewelry box, so it'll oh, be yeah. good to get rid of it. Yeah. Yes. They even made like some bracelets out of pull tabs. They had like yes. black color pull tabs. Those are really And they made neat. some bracelets. And they were the coolest looking mm -hmm. thing. You know, and they were stretchy like, you know, and, and they were a hit. People like were really buying those things. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Unique. They have unique pieces. Mm -hmm. yeah. And belts they made out of those pull tabs, belts. Mm -hmm. And yeah. even somebody even made a dress out of them. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. I would not that want to wear a, a dress out of them, but they did. They, they had a dress out of them. Kind of noisy, <laughs> you'd have to lie. <laughs> have to show us what that looks like. <laughs> I can't remember where I saw that, if it was on Facebook or in a magazine. But, yeah, actually. Well, we had someone come to one of our meetings, it's been a couple of years ago, and showed us how they crocheted old, like, Walmart bags, Country Mart bags, all that, into maps. Yeah. Those and then they turned homeless. Them to oh, homeless. yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. And the tote bags they made out of yeah. them, those yeah. are really mm -hmm. neat. Yeah. So, yeah, people can make stuff out of nothing. Recycle. I mean, that's one of our things is uh, environment. Recycle. And mm -hmm. uh, actually, Rosemary is the chairman for our state for environment. And it, it is about conservation and uh, recycling mm -hmm. and, you know, helping. Uh, you know, with the flowers for the bees yeah. and all kinds of things like that. Oh, all nice. kinds of new things. Mm -hmm. So we're finding out what the other clubs are doing, and maybe we'll be able to incorporate some of those here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what's interesting, when all the clubs from all around get together, mm -hmm. and you hear what other people are doing, right. and it inspires you and gives you an idea, oh, we could do that, or we could do something we like that, that, or it you know, might give you another mm -hmm. idea. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So anybody that's listening out there, you have to know just by being with these ladies tonight, what kind of what kind of meeting could this be? <laughs> what kind of organization? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so if you've fun. ever wondered, there it is. There yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun, right. and yeah. and you learn a lot, and you do a lot. Yeah. Do as much as you want, and as little as you want. Right. No pressure. Nope. No, <laughs> no pressure. pressure. Yeah. Uh, nope. But, uh, but like I said, if you want to be a guest, we do ask that you contact one of us just right. to where we can let, you know, make sure that we know that you're coming and have everything ready. Right. Because mm -hmm. right. we usually do have it catered out. We have to have our numbers. You have to, right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, not everyone does a lunch, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, but especially now with COVID, some people don't want to remove their mask and don't want to eat the lunch. Mm -hmm. but, and that's fine, too. Right. We right. try to let people do what they're comfortable doing. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And if you don't want to call someone, you can just send an email. Right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Look us up on Facebook. Send us a message. Anything. Right. Just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's ways to get a hold of us. Is We're here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We started. Yeah. 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 Com. Or. No, that's. This is a website. Okay. The dot com is the email, correct? Um. The that email would be is gfwcmostetn -E at gmail dot com. Oh, at gmail. Gmail dot com. At gmail. Put you on the spot. <laughs> Roseberry is our very, very, very good 
person for the internet and everything with it. <laughs> she's she's that's what she's technology doing. Technology person. Yeah, she's oh, our tech oh wizard. Oh my yeah. Yeah. Well, well I know some. I know what I need to know. Well, that's kind so, of right. And then she goes over to the like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. She's very good at it. But there again, she works a full time job besides, you know, coming. So it's not like, you know. So, yes? She's it's got more than one full time job, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least one more at home, right? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Uh, some people may not know that Rosemary is a beekeeper, you know, so. Uh, and her yeah. honey is very good. Yes. Yeah. Right. Well, and, it's, yeah. and it's local, which is it's good local. for your well, that's body. that's supposed to be good for you. Yeah, yeah. good yeah. for your body. And she yeah. makes soaps and lotions. And, and lip balms, yeah. Lip yeah. balms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how did we just get, just call you for the honey? The oh. honey is sold at the show me shop. Show me shop. Oh, okay. I didn't know mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah. with the soaps and the others, you can just call me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. See, everybody out there, you got to know that this is <laughs> this is, this how is you an find organization. Out you know? Absolutely. Another and and networking. Also, right. also networking. you can tell your members that if anybody's interested, <laughs> that they talk to that wants to join, to watch what's new, mm -hmm. and you just go to uh, St. Jen TV or YouTube, whichever, and yeah. Google what's new, and then you'll go to the main station, and then there's a pull down that says what's new. We've right. got our yeah, own Yeah, because we don't live in town, so we can't get it locally. Right. Right. So you can get it on, you get it off the website. on the internet, yes. Mm -hmm. And you, go, you, we have our own little thing at the top now. We used to have a pull down, but now yeah. we have our own little what's oh, new. Little <laughs> and it goes back, I think this is our ninth year or tenth wow. year we've been on, so you can go all the way archive back? all the way it back. Has it all the way oh. archived? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's that's I, a lot. It was at one time, unless they've changed yeah. it, yeah. We can ask Charlie, but yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. So there's yeah. a lot of interesting shows, a lot of health shows, a lot of mm -hmm. fun shows, a lot of music, a lot of, I and mean, we've had guests from every area probably mm -hmm. on since we started yeah. this, yeah. Well, we appreciate you letting us come and yeah. Well, anytime yeah. you want to come back, right. we're right. always open for guests. Yeah. We Sometimes it. we have to call and call and call to find right. somebody that's really interested in being on. Mm -hmm. right. And then we have a lot of repeat guests that, mm -hmm. well, I was just on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay, but come on right. back. But yeah. sometimes yeah. you have something different right. to talk about. We might yeah. have an event coming right. up. Right, yeah. yeah. and like that's to... the big thing. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. That's, what we, that's what this program was set up for, is to Tell the people in our county what's, what's new, yeah, what's yeah. New. yeah. and what's going on in St. Jen. What mm -hmm. kind of events and what kind mm -hmm. of activities and well, like Judy said, in, she never heard of this organization until yeah. someone approached mm -hmm. her. Right. So right, there may be people sitting out there that have never heard of it. Right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. Okay, oh. so anybody else got anything else to talk about? No. We nope. appreciate your support a lot. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. That was uh, Thank you for being an hour and a half full, so we did well. Oh, yes. and is that the length yes. of your normal, your time um, span is an hour and a half? Is that? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Close yeah. All right. That's, yeah. We used to do a half an hour, and then mm -hmm. it got expanded to an hour, and now we can do an hour and a half. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So we get better and better. Yeah. <laughs> Or our guests, our guests yes. get better and better. Yeah. Yes. Well, I think it's a our, great opportunity for. Uh, well, we other have people. a pen for each of you with our oh. GFWC on it. So you oh, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Those yeah. are neat yeah. 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 So other people that are out there listening, or mm -hmm. will be watching it later, uh, it's a. Yeah. So nice tell tell your members to tell their to friends the or anybody yeah. that's interested. Mm -hmm to do the pull-up and they can see what you guys said and they can learn a lot right. about your yeah. thinking, the women's club. Yeah, we might even put something on our website. We've been on well, sure. Yes, too. that's Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And maybe we'll get yeah. some more viewers. Yeah. They don't have us on a counter. When we first started, I think there was, they had a, uh, program that did count. Had the clicks of they don't people. anymore. But yeah. we've been watched overseas already by guys in wow. the service. Yeah. And oh, stuff yeah. like we'll that. Maybe yeah. some of the other GFWC clubs 
scattered throughout. Yeah. I want to see. Yeah, we could. And they could. Yeah, look yeah. on YouTube for that. Yeah. Huh. And usually anything that comes up that's coming up, like, uh, I'm just going to throw this out because it's big, the Judafet. People come out and talk to that. Or, mm -hmm. you know, Christmas the fair Festival. Or so. Yeah, yes. and Toby, Toby gives us a Toby, list yeah. of everything that's going to happen. Events. So we usually yeah. call everybody on there and yeah. invite them. Mm -hmm. Some of them come, some of them don't have time. Yeah. You know, some of them have meetings on tonight. Yeah. Sometimes I mean, it on snows and right. you can't get the in Wednesday here. evening. Like two weeks, huh? Or it snows. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that those two weeks. I mean, that that's the only two weeks. Was the really only there. time that we yeah. have not had a show. I yeah. think. Yeah. Except uh, when did we cancel another one? A flood. Uh, were you on during the flood? I don't think we were on on. Oh wait, if you no, you that was been nine years. years. That was too well, many I'm years really ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think we might have started in two ten eleven twelve. I know we were on in eleven twelve because we had cups with all three of our pictures on it. Oh, all oh, my with goodness. what's new, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then it was, um, and then we had a cup with our signature on it. Yeah. With Mary Ann and our Mary Ann. They are famous. famous. <laughs> I was, I, we used to come to yeah. the fair and I, I just love coming here and just to listen. I enjoyed listening to them talk. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We told them what we were doing, but I just love right. to hear them. So and you're carrying on their legacy. Right. So that's yeah. healthy. I'm going to try. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never be as good as those ladies. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I'm like, I enjoy these two, <laughs> these two ladies. When, when they said that there was an, I thought, oh, I got to be on there. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's got to join And now her. I have to join the, So see, this is a Wednesday night. Yeah. Then I can do a Monday afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Usually our meetings are 11. And like mm -hmm. I said, we're mm -hmm. usually down hour and a half to two hour range. Right. And that's with eating lunch too. Mm -hmm. So it kind of depends on who our speaker right. is and how many questions we have or if our entertainment gets a little mm -hmm. carried away. A little carried away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And we also support the health, the art center, the art guild. You know, we're we're a patron of that, and um, you know, Carolyn and we Bach. Thank is, you for Carolyn that. Bach is one of our members, and uh, so we're so glad to have that in town. That's just a, a really oh, yes. it's, it turned out so nice. Yeah, it's so beautiful. nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, so. Um, if you guys don't have anything else yeah. to say, well, just... No, thank you very okay. much. Okay, well, thank, thank you all for coming. Yeah, really so, and you can so stay good. until yeah. we go off, off the air. Um, okay, the Art Guild building is open this weekend, and it's also open on Fridays now instead of just on Saturdays. So anybody out there wants to go visit, um, I think it's... Uh, 11 to 4, I believe, is the hours that it was extended to. So you can go on our website, St. Jen Art Guild, and check it out and see what time we're open. But it's we're open on Fridays now and Saturday. And we're thinking about Sunday, but I don't know if we've really decided that. Yeah, or not yet. especially mm -hmm. in the winter, so, it's hard. Would be hard to do a Sunday, but but we have to stay Sunday open times. because yeah. we're more or less like a part of the community and a part mm -hmm. of part of we're representing our county so That's we right. yes yeah. right. mm -hmm. so well, we have I, to stay open period yeah. 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 <laughs> that this has turned out so wonderful oh that building is yeah. beautiful right and beautiful. there's an beautiful. opportunity for artists to showcase yeah. their Painting. skills and, and we things. can't wait until everybody can get their mask off and not be scared to come out and start having mm -hmm. classes for people and the art this walk mask again was actually yeah. made by one of the artists there and it was done in ice right dry, doing it and suzanne does those yes yeah. and uh it's one of, I, one of my favorite she ones. she's sold those well yeah yeah yeah. And that is such a fun thing. You guys ought to call her and do it. She's the got, ice class would be fun. I mean, the uh, ice dive. She wanted to do snow, which there's a big pile in her backyard yet. <laughs> and she, she can do, I think, four people at a time. Oh, okay. Something like that. Mm -hmm. But it's so much fun. You have used cotton or linen. Uh -huh. So I did a bunch of uh, napkins. Yeah. 
and I've sold all of them. Yeah, this uh, I just have three left, yeah. three napkins. Uh -huh. I've sold all the other ones. Wow. And they're, they just turn out so neat. So is that mm -hmm. cotton? Yeah. Yeah, cotton. you can do cotton mm -hmm. or linen. I have plenty of masks, and right. I forgot and that's really one. Really yeah. cool. This is my most this comfortable awesome. mask I own. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she's made several of those. Lots yeah. and lots and lots of them, yeah. yeah. I think she's got them down at... Uh, Lucy Winery too. Oh, okay. I believe. Yeah. Oh, okay. And she's got tie dye clothing down there too, yeah. and ice clothing and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if yep. anybody hasn't been downtown, and I just, I guess it's just I don't take the time. Mm -hmm. well, I, I guess I just didn't need anything, but I told my granddaughters we were going to walk downtown one day. We're just going to go and go through the shops and go out to eat mm -hmm. and all this. Well, we did, and it got to be. It was pretty later in the evening, like oh. 7, 30, 8 o'clock. Well, we were on Main Street, and the rustic, um, what was it? And I forgot her Rust. name. Rust. Yeah, Rust. Rust. Okay. So she has those three built, or those three things, like this, where the jewelry is, mm -hmm. and then these other two. Well, we went in there, and there was like nobody in there. Mm -hmm. And she came in, and, and then she went through the jewelry, told us all about that. Then she took us, she said, well, do you have time to come over here? And I said, we got plenty of time. <coughs> Excuse me, I drank my coffee wrong. Anyway, so then when we went across the street then and saw all that stuff and the, the oh my gosh, I can't wait because I'm gonna, I bought a, or I'm gonna buy one of those um, things you put like a candle in or. Tin cans. The tin cans. She yeah. takes all kind of tin oh. cans and metal and cuts all kind of butterflies and designs. Design. And yeah. she does the tree of life. Those are beautiful. Yes, yes. And she uses little bitty cans. And then the big And ones. the big cans. Mm -hmm. Any kind of can. Yeah. Hmm. She's she very that, talented. Very um, talented. And it was funny because we were as we were walking, we walked all the way down here to where, like, oh, it was the old jug. But I forgot. Anyway, so I looked in there and I said, I don't know what this is? And I started opening the door and it was open. And I thought, oh, we're not going in there because I don't know. We don't know anybody. You know, there's nobody in there. So we didn't, we didn't do it. And so as we walked back, we seen her and we talked to her about it. And she said, oh, I, I own that too. And I oh, said, that's great. Yes. And oh, my gosh. She said, well, because uh, I told her my grandkids were all going to be at home at Christmas. Mm -hmm. So we just need to come down here and have a picture taken. Yeah. <laughs> you know, cool. it's just so neat. Yeah. You know, it's just things that you, mm -hmm. you know, you just, if, I don't know. I Very feel unique. awful. Very. Yeah. If anybody yeah. hasn't gone yeah. downtown. Mm -hmm. A lot of interesting Good. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, again, yes. thank you very much. You're welcome. We really so appreciate glad it. To have you here. And I hope to see both of you sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Iris, too. <laughs> good luck. So. Okay. So we'll all say good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> good night.